customize. Modify something to suit a particular individual or task. I customize just about everything to suit my needs, in different ways too. I write on things, mouse, speaker. I draw on stuff, desk, calculator. I even scratch stuff up, desk, car. But most of all, I love stickers. There's just something about them. So I put stickers on just about everything. Stickers are the most non-destructive, temporary, or permanent customization that I know of. Here's my old computer. A little slow for my needs. Enter the new late 2016 MacBook Pro 13 inch in space gray. Pretty bland, right? Clear your desk and cue the sticker box. First, wipe off and dry the surface of the MacBook you will be affixing stickers to. This is important so that no dust particulates get under the stickers and cause bumps. Choose a direction you want the stickers to face, either towards you or away from you when the laptop is open or closed. Next, slap a huge sticker right over the Apple logo to show that you're an independent thinker and you don't care about a warranty. Just kidding, stickers won't actually void your warranty. Save the small stickers for last and choose a few of your biggest stickers and place them around the edges. More specifically, the corners. The corners are the most important part, so you might want to start there. Overlap them so they hang off the edge and take up as much room as they can. The goal is to cover as much gray space, or should I say space gray, as possible. Once you have a solid border around the outside of the Mac, fill in the rest of the gray space with the small stickers. After all your gray space is covered, turn the Mac over and break out an X-Acto knife or a razor blade. Flip over the Mac to the back side. It's probably not too great of an idea to put stickers back here because it could affect thermal performance. But if you're about that life, I mean, go for it. Use the edge as a guide and make a rough cut around where the edge is. Once all the sides are trimmed, flip it back over and fine tune the edge. Holding the blade at a rough 45 degree angle worked the best for me. You will most likely have to make multiple passes at the corners to get them perfect, but it is not too time consuming. Once you're all done and happy with the results, you can either move to the inside or clean up all the sticker backings you got on the floor and put your materials away. Now you have a slick, customized, unique MacBook Pro, and it looks super sweet. This has been a Pocket Project. Thanks for watching.